ओके okay. सो okay, so, um, like पावर क्वेरी एडिटो इज रियली पावरफुल इज ए पावरफुल वन इन देंस दैट यू रियली नीड टू यू माइ नीड टू perform some you might need to perform some changes to your data some um calculation some transformation some editing so that's where you do this is where you do everything so on the left we have our, our queries don't worry about uh, the, the 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 names they use the 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 for 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 the normal power bi you use your your field pane but here they use queries it's just the same thing the table you are working with is what they call the queries if you have multiple queries here you have them listed here just like if you have multiple fields here you have them listed so here they call it fields so sorry i think this sound is disturbing you Okay, so here they call it fields. Here they call it queries, and on the other end, in Power Query Editor, um, in normal um, Power BI, you call it fields. So when you select a particular query, on the center here, you have the center pane here is where the data from the selected query is displayed. and available for shipping so you can view the data you can scroll to your right scroll to your left this is the, you can agree with me that this is the normal data from what we have what we imported so you can scroll down up right left and you can view your data in its old glory so here right here where you have all this gibberish because it's gibberish at the moment is where is called the formula bar it's called the formula so what it does is immediately you import um a data into power query it performs some operations without even asking it it does some particular operations and you really don't need to know that now so we we'll move on to the right um to the right pane where you have the query settings the query settings here you can change the name of the table itself from star and change it to stars let me just add an s and you see it reflects here it reflects here so if you look here you have the applied step it is a very important um a important a very important section you need to take cognizance of because every of the changes you make on this data will start reflecting here as applied steps this first few ones are defaults so you you don't have a problem with them is what power query does by default so everything you change right here right now will start applying there let's say i change this to i'm just going to i'm just going to probably um i'm going to i'm going to rename this column to free lunch what does it say here it says renamed columns renamed columns you can click on that on this particular and you can you can click on it and just you can rename it that is you can you can rename the particular step probably you rename it renamed free long so you can keep track of what of the changes you are making so over in a, um on it you can see what particular changes you have made to the data set so every step you apply if i change this um if i change this from 
numbers to let's say text you can see say change type so every step or changes you make will continue to reflect it and you can even reorder this you can reorder these changes you can bring this change type up here and you can bring it back down can, you can just by clicking on it and dragging it so you can so this apply step is a very important part so the right pane like i said is the query settings where your your query properties and the apply step apply um they, they appear sorry the left is where you, you can select the query you are trying trying to edit the center pane is where you have your the the, the selected query displayed and of course you have the ribbon this ribbon you have um four main tabs just like um in our normal power bi desktop we have four main tabs where you have different commands attached to each tab so you can make so you can make your changes to your data set of course I will not really dig deep into this now, but you can just sit down when you have downloaded your probably sit down and explore. But looking at it, you can choose columns, you can remove columns, keep columns, remove rows, you can sort, sort columns. Probably you want to sort this column by the highest. Uh, you can do that here, probably sort it from descending. So you see, you have the highest numbers, and it is descending that way. So, and if you look at the apply steps, immediately I click sort, and it shows me sorted rows in the apply steps. So you can keep track of all the changes you are making. So you can split columns, you can group columns, you can use first row as header, change data type from all numbers to different data types, name it. You can append queries and merge queries. All these ones will still be discussed when we get to the um, real cleaning, data cleaning, because we are still going to do a particular data set where we'll clean the data and we'll, we'll, we'll use all or most of, I can't say all, I can't promise all, but we'll use most of these commands on this, on this tab. So on the transform tab, like I always say, I said the home tab is like, um, bringing up, bringing together rather, most of the commands you'll be needing from different tabs. You bring it to the home tab for you to, to, to for your for your convenience rather, for your convenience. So the transform tab here, you have the group by. You recall that you have this here on your home tab. You recall we have it on your home tab here. So the transform group by. This use first row as headers. You also have it on your home tab. You have it here. So most of this is like a duplication of what you have on the home tab. But if for any reason what you're looking for is not on the home tab, then you have to go to the specific tab where that um, that command applies. So if you want to add a column, this is where you come to. Anything about adding columns, new uh, adding new columns. This is where you come to. And for your view, this is where you um, maybe you want to um, you want to check column quality. Allow. I turn this on. You can see it shows um, valid error empty. To check the quality of your data, you can turn it on, and you can turn it off. You can turn off the formula bar. We don't want to see it. You can see it's gone. And you can turn it on back. So if you want to see it, so you can type in, in it directly. So uh, what again? You can see your column distribution. Yeah, you can turn it off. You can see your column profile. Yeah, so this is the view tab. The add column tab, the transform tab, and the home tab so that's it on power query editor and uh before our time runs out 
uh, maybe I should quickly explain. Um, I should quickly explain some other concepts because this advanced editor that you can see on this view tab here is for those that probably know. You know, you know, you know the the um, this Power BI runs on a language called the Power Query M formula language. So it runs on M M formula language. So this everything you have been doing, all the changes you have been making, apart from the apply step, it's also coding it here. It's not like a, a code. It's writing some codes here to demonstrate all that we have been doing. If you look at, we sorted some rows. This is the code he wrote for sorting the rows. We changed a particular type. Let me, come here, let me let me let me let me make this smaller so I can put it side by side. So we changed type here. When we change type here, this is the code it wrote for it. So if you are familiar with the M language, which I'm not so sure because. It's really like advanced, advanced. Instead of doing all this, you can just come here and write your code and press done. It will just do all the changes you've, you've, you've coded in here. Just run it up on your data. So that's this advanced query editor. That's what it is for. So what other thing have I not explained here? Every other thing that is here, you can just over around it, like I said. You put your cursor on it. If you don't understand what it's doing, it will always tell you. Is there's a two tip? It tells you perform trigonometric function. So all the sine, cosine. If you need it to create a column that has all these formulas, of course, you have it here: square root, absolute value, factorial, logarithm, um, multiply. Subtract, divide. If you don't know what you want to do. If you if you don't know the exact formula you want to use, I always come here and select it, and that works. So uh, I would say that that's about shaping um, our data. So I I promised that I was going to connect to a web site. Yeah, I promised that. I promised that I was going to connect to a website. So let's. Should we do that? Yeah, let's do that. You mean you want before. to get the data from the web, right? Yes, to from the website. Okay. okay. Yeah. Before you do that, so um, yeah. um, I don't know if anyone have a questions, but basically, I think what we've been doing here is um trying to understand um data cleaning and transformation from the Power Query aspects, right? If I'm if I'm yes. correct. Uh, sure. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, so once we're able to clean our data and uh, make it suit what we want to do, then we can now go ahead to the the visual where we now put in the chart. Is that correct? Hello. Are you there? He has disappeared. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, okay. I show. I show. Yeah, okay. I think he has some issues with his network. 
So while we're waiting for him to rejoin, um, I'm sure we all, we all know we can't really cover everything today. So we also have plans with uh, Shil and other guys that's going to take us the Tableau workshop tomorrow. So if we are unable to cover everything, we will still continue next week, right? So this will be uh, an engaging month of data visualization for, for everyone. So yeah, so um, do we have any questions? So I can just take that from us. So do we have any question quickly? Or what do you understand so far from what you have been seeing? I'm 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 really sure um we don't have begin be, be, um, be I beginners here, right? I know we have a lot of guys that are already using Power BI, so we are just trying to re refill our our skill, right? Hello. So do you have any question, guys, or do we have anyone that wants to add to our knowledge on Power BI? Precious, you want to help us? Alpha Labi? Yes, boss. Alpha Labi? My Oga. I do. Yes. <laughs> okay, I think he's back. He's back, yeah. Okay, okay. Yes, yeah, sure. So, um, can you hear me now? Hello? Shion, what's up now? Hi, Shion. Okay, no, let me, let me try and call him there. I didn't get you. Yeah? I feel like you're saying something. Hi guys, I'm sorry. My yeah, sorry. Okay, okay. Yeah, um, we're we're about we're about rounding off though, but so I think we might have to continue next week. So I just want us to summarize what we've been able to uh you know learn so far, so that we can just take that off from next class, right? So maybe next class can just be more of deep uh uh you know query and all that now what do you think yes yes that's fine so we we'll know we we'll, we'll just go deep into we we'll start doing the practical aspects everybody most people should just come with uh different um, question their laptop charge so okay. they can just start doing the practical aspect next week all right that would be nice that would be nice Thank you so much, uh, Shil, for today's uh, session. I really appreciate your time, though. So, guys, do we have any question for Shil quickly before we close the meeting? Do we have any question? Um, okay, Afalabi, go ahead. Yeah. No, no question, no question, no question. Okay, okay, no I'll question. Go. So, um, I I understand that we might have not really done the practical aspects today you are just you know talking 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 but once we start you know connecting the chat to one another and we are seeing those beautiful dashboard reports um i think it should be very interesting right so um i would just like to ask quickly wh what do we understand um between the difference between the uh, between reports and dashboard can anyone just quickly help out what was the difference? Because I think she highlighted that earlier in the meeting. What was the difference between reports and dashboard? Can anyone help out? No one. Hi, Shion. Hi. Okay. Afalabi. I think you joined you joined very early now. You should be able to. Precious. Reports versus dashboard. What do you really understand? What's the difference? Can you help us? Okay. 
Okay, I think I think okay. Uh I I joined when Shim was talking about it, but I'm trying to recall it right now. But yes. <laughs> yeah, so Shim, can you just quickly uh give us a summary? Maybe we can just end the class from there, right? So that we can okay. take something home so that next week it will just be like you know a very easy yes. way of continuing okay, the class. So uh a brief summary. Let me just run us through what I just discussed today. Thank today you. we discussed about Power BI, uh, yeah. the, the parts of Power BI. So I said we have um, the Power BI desktop. That was what we just used in our demonstration, not quite long. Yeah. We have the Power BI service. That's when you when you create your 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 reports, you can share them to your to your network. That's the people that you share the same workspaces with workspace so yeah so you can share them to your power bi service so they can see make recommendations edit and you guys can collaborate it's just basically for collaboration that's yeah. that's that and you have the mobile power bi app mobile power bi app, app that's you can share your, you can deploy your your reports and make them into mobile apps so your 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 end user can interact with your report. Um, you just see this as 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 a scenario whereby um, your your maybe your boss is not available and he needs you to and he's not with his laptop or something. He just needs you to to share that report with him and it's just with his mobile phone. You can make make it into a mobile app and okay, like integrated. App. So it's, it's basically for interaction with okay. your reports. You can't you can't really do much as as an end user on 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 the on the mobile power apps, power BI apps. So I, I explained the concept of workspace, my workspace and workspaces. My yeah. where I said my workspace is yeah. just you, your data sets, your reports, your dashboards, yeah. is personalized. Mm. And workspaces is a shared workspace where probably at enterprise level where uh, all your colleagues have access to the data sets in that workspace. They have access to the reports in that workspace. You, can, you guys collaborate and you, 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 you design, you, you share, uh, you, you edit. You do all sorts of beautiful things there. Yeah, so, collaboration, yeah. Yeah, collaboration as for workspaces. So the difference between workspaces and my workspace. So I, I, I made a clear distinction between um, a report and a dashboard. I said a report is one or more pages of visualization that is such as line charts, maps. So I showed us a report I created, I think two even. And I said a dashboard is like bringing together key metrics from reports, okay. bringing together key metrics from different reports, you mm -hmm. pin them to a dashboard. That's when you have a dashboard. I said, why, why, why are dashboards created? To, to, they are created to, to display all the important information at a glance, to monitor the most important information, to keep track of the most important information in mm -hmm. one place. So I made example of probably you're, you're working for an organization and you, 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 you need you 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 created a report for sales, you created a sales report, you created an employee report, that is employee performance report. You created let's say three different reports yeah. like that. So can we just say Marketing dashboard? Reports. Dashboard like a connected report, right? Yes, you Maybe are collecting linked together. Yes, you are collecting all the important um, details from different reports. I'm bringing it into okay. one. Okay, sorry, sorry, Shio. I want to, I want to break it down. Maybe if it makes sense this way, like a website. Now you have the home page, then you have the, uh, let's say, user account, like other parts that now link you to the home page. So maybe that's what should be like the home page of a website. Then other corners in the website where, you know, is that the way it is? Yeah, yeah. Reports are they, they stand on their own. 
you, you yeah. understand okay. it's standard now if i if i'm creating a sales report now i have all the sales metrics i want to see mm -hmm. that everything related to sales i have it there right yeah. yeah if i create an employee report mm -hmm. i have all the metrics that, that relate to employees employee, probably yeah. their department their work um their, uh, the turnover rates mm -hmm. and all yeah. that i have it there mm -hmm. abby yes so for a dashboard now Every team. I might choose, I might choose the top performers, uh, probably the top performers in my employees. I want to see the top performing. Uh, I can I can rename that dashboard top performers, and, and I want to see the top performing product mm. amongst all my products, and I want to see the top performing employee. Mm. I want to see the uh, the top uh, where where our product sells the most. Top sales really I want to see the, okay. Yes, so all this I want to bring it together. I, mm. I don't care about the other things you've you've included in your reports i those are those the three things i want to see you get what i mean yeah, so i'll yeah. bring out those three Maybe. charts from yeah. all the from this report i'll bring it out and i'll pin it on the dashboard that is what a dashboard is okay 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 yeah so a dashboard is like you're selecting just a specific part of a report mm -hmm. that you that, that that you're interested in and you're bringing it out to form another different view um another different uh uh Visual. visualization on yeah. phone. you get what i mean so yeah. that's what a dashboard and a report is yeah. so i also made mention of um okay we discussed about getting data into power bi mm -hmm. you can get data from flat files that is text file yeah. or csv files mm -hmm. you can get data from an excel workbook you mm -hmm. can get data from a relational database that is SQL, Access, uh, Azure, SharePoint. Mm -hmm. You can get it from online sources like SharePoint. So we discussed the Power BI interface. I showed us the, the Canva, the ribbon, the data view, report view, the model view. And I showed us three panes, the filter pane, field pane, field and the visualization pane. So I said the filter pane is when you want to filter some of your visuals. Mm -hmm based on some certain criteria, The visualization pane is where you select your visualizations from. You want to select your pie charts, you want to select your tree map. And the fields pane is where you have your, all your fields in your table. When you load or import a data set into your Power BI desktop, all the tables in that data will show, you, will, will, will show up on the fields pane. So that's, that's what we discussed on, under the Power BI interface. So we're explaining the Power Query Editor just now, that is the, the, the parts where you do your data cleaning mm. in, in, in Power BI. Because like we know, data does not, most often than not, data does not always come clean. And as 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 data analysts, we spend, the, the, we have read different articles, though the, 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 the percentage varies, but we spend 60 to 80% of our time cleaning data. Mm. Even the analysis itself is maybe like, you know, like 10%. Yeah, yeah. So, so we, we discussed the Power Query Editor where we do all our data cleaning our, and our data transformation in Power BI. And we are going to dig deep, but time does not permit today to dig deep into Power Query Editor. But in our yeah. next class, we'll discuss Power Query Editor. Yeah. We'll see how it can apply, how different magic can, um, that, uh, that particular part of Power BI can, can perform. So, that was all we discussed today. And... All right, all right. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, so guys, um, we're going to end the session in the next three to five minutes. So, do we have any question? Uh, are we prepared for a Tableau workshop tomorrow? So you can join the community Data Science Lagos Club, right? So if you have any question or if you have any um, suggestion, ideas, you can always share on the group, right? So guys, do you have any questions for Shion before we say a good night to everyone? Okay, so let me share the group. Hello. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Fab.
Faba Miche. Yes, sir, please. Uh, I just want to ask about the community group. Yeah, uh, I think you asked about that earlier. Right? Yes. You, I yes, I do. Showed, I just showed the link now. Okay, thanks. Yeah, yeah. So um, the idea is that we are trying to run a workshop, like a free workshop for data visualization. So we have guys that are going to take us our Power BI and another tomorrow will be for Tableau, right? So I know a lot of people are familiar with Power BI in, in Nigeria data uh, ecosystems, but for Tableau, uh, I would really like a lot of us to join tomorrow because we have experts that's going to uh, guide us through how Tableau works tomorrow, right? So if we are unable to finish the workshop tomorrow, we'll continue next week. So for Power BI as well, um, uh, Mr. Shil has agreed to continue the program, uh, the class next week. So we can also join. So I'm gonna put it on the group for those that are interested in joining the workshop. So thank you guys for joining to this uh, session. Uh, do we have anything to say to, to the facilitator or to our trainer? Is it a thank you or let's just say thank you to him. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Shinwu. Yeah, thank you. And thank you, Manuel. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Shinwu, we appreciate it. Hi, Shinwu. My pleasure. It's my pleasure. All right, thank you so much. So see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.